An invasive aquatic species has hitched a ride to a local quarry, causing concern to Park District officials. Naperville News 17's Jodel Maglia has the story. Paddleboat Quarry hosts hundreds of guests to their waters during the summer months, but recently the Park District found some uninvited ones as well. We discovered them this past fall um, in, at the end of October when we were pulling the paddle boats out. Um, my, all of my guys were pulling them out and going, what are these things on the bottom of the boat? A call to the Urban Research Center identified them as zebra mussels from Russia. The tiny critters made their way to the U.S. by hitching a ride on large ships. Since they can live for up to a week out of water, they clamped onto the bottom of boats, steadily making their way across the country, until they landed right here in Naperville. You can't see them. They're invisible invaders. So, and they're kind of sticky. So as these larvae, or villagers as they're called, they're sticking to your boat. They're sticking inside your live wells. They're sticking to your, your fishing line and your bait buckets, on your dogs, on your boots. They're everywhere. In the last few years, DuPage County officials have found large numbers in their lakes. Though they can't say with certainty how they got into the quarry, their guess is either by people transporting them or from the city's 2013 flood, which may have caused infested waters to carry them over. Though these mussels may have short-term benefits, such as cleaner water from eating algae and bacteria, they can cause long-term damage. Those little villagers that we were talking about can get through the screening of the irrigation system. So they come in, they get through the pump, and as long as there's active water there, they can attach themselves anywhere within the system and start to grow. And from there, they can reproduce. They send out thousands or hundreds of thousands of little babies, and if all of those can survive and attach, you can imagine it's just a matter of years, a couple of years before they start clogging the whole system. And if they find that paddleboat quarry has an infestation, it could be very costly to the district. Depending on the, you know, their depth of lake and your acreage of lake to treat a whole lake, whew, you can, I can't even imagine the cost. It would be well into the hundreds of thousands of dollars. To prevent the devastating cost to cover an infestation, the Park District and the Urban Research Center have started promoting the Illinois Indiana Sea Grant program called Be a Hero Transport Zero to fight the spread of aquatic invaders in the area. We need to get clean and remove all the you know plants that you see or mud and water off your boats or your canoes, off your equipment. And, uh, and then and hose it down, wash it off, you know, when, when you get home. Although zebra mussels pose no threat to people, officials are asking residents that if you see these invaders, report them right away so authorities know which body of water they're in. Reporting from Paddleboat Quarry, I'm Joda Maglia for Naperville News 17. The Park District is currently monitoring Paddleboat Quarry so that they can figure out the next steps for treatment.